Hello everybody, I'm here today. I wanted to get this channel back up and going, so I wanted to do a little video about emulators. And what is an emulator? An emulator allows you to play your old games all on the PC at higher resolutions, better graphics, stuff like that. Uh, so let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and show you uh, the Nintendo 64. Try the Nintendo 64 today. Um, go to any uh, internet provider you like. Search Project 64. And the first thing that usually comes up, PJ64 slash MU, is the one you want. Go ahead and click that. And click the little green square, get Project 64 for Windows. Now, down in the bottom, it should start downloading. If it does not start downloading, do not click any of the green start download. Three easy steps. It's just a bunch of crap. In the bottom, it should come up as a download. If it does not, just refresh the page. Go ahead and open that. Yes. We'll close our browser. We don't need that no more. Continue. Yeah, I've already installed this for Go ahead and over, overwrite it for you guys. And it's ready to launch already, so we'll launch it. This is Project 64. Now, this is a project, like it says. Uh, it's always being updated. And the newer versions allow you to support it. They take small donations. Um, what I do want to tell you is this comes up almost every time you start the emulator. Now, right now, both Support Project 64 and Continue are available. What happens is, after the more you play this, uh, the Continue will be grayed out. And at first, when this happened, I thought I had to enter a code, or which you get if you support it, you know, small amount, uh, and you will not receive this message anymore. But I wanted to show you guys this because a lot of people won't support it, and they just want to play it. Uh, I've played this numerous of hours and the longest I've had to sit and wait for a continue option to be available was less than a minute. Sometimes you gotta sit there and wait and eventually it comes on. So it's not like they don't let you play it at all. So go ahead and click continue. I wanna walk through on setting this up. Uh, it's kind of vague, you get a little bit of options here. Uh, first thing you want to do is go into your graphics plugin. This is going to change the graphics of your game. Um, I currently have this set up at 3840 by 2160, which is 4K. Uh, I have maxed out pretty much all the available options because the PC that I have is pretty damn good. Um, I do want to tell you though, this is a Nintendo 64, so a lot of systems will be able to play this at whatever max resolution that you're capable of playing. Um, no, you probably won't be able to put this on a laptop and then stream it to a 4K TV instantly, but I can't say that because I haven't ever tried that. Uh, but for most off, I played on this laptop over here on 1080p, no problem. And Mario 64 plays amazing on 1080p on the go, just for you know. So um, up top here you'll see advanced and ROM settings. I wouldn't recommend messing with them. Those are available only to me because I've been Enabled advanced setup, uh, but personally, I wouldn't even fuck with them. If you fuck with them, you might have a problem loading any games. So go ahead and click apply, whatever you figured out, whatever resolution that your screen is capable of doing. Click OK. Now, next thing you're going to do is go to the controller plugin. This is going to allow you to be able to use a controller. I currently use the Xbox 360 wired controller. It is Microsoft uh, it just it just works it just fucking works so you don't have to worry about doing anything you plug it in goes to Windows update by itself installs a driver and it shows up there currently is now that I know of uh, PlayStation 4 controller support for Microsoft Windows 10 I personally will look into that uh, maybe I'll do a video on it because I'm kind of excited to be able to use Bluetooth a lot of PCs already have Bluetooth, so it'd be nice to do wireless. So, first thing you're going to do, make sure it's on controller one, and it says plugged. The check box is plugged in. And what you're going to do is 
pretty much reference the old 64 controller to this, the digital pad, which is your D pad. You click on the respective up, left, right, down, and once you click it, it waits for an input. So I click up, I'm going to push up on the controller. Left, left, and so on. Start, start. Now the L trigger, R trigger, Z trigger is where it gets tricky on the Nintendo 64 because the Nintendo 64 had a joystick in the middle with the trigger on the back, the Z trigger. So the left trigger, I like putting the first L, M, B on the Xbox, and then the right trigger, I do the first R. Z, I usually configure to my left trigger on this, well, because it kind of feels great when you use your joystick on your left, kind of like it did on the 64. Uh, as soon as you get all the buttons mapped, that's what it's called, button mapping, map them up correctly and hit save. Uh, your audio plug-in, you usually don't got to mess with it, it's pretty big. So now, we're set up. What I do want to show you guys is down in game preferences box, it's grayed out, brightness, aspect display. This will be grayed out until you load a game. So we're going to go ahead and load the game. And like I said, these ROMs for these games can be found online and it's not illegal as long as you own the original copy. So go ahead, if you have the copies of these games, get on your computer, play them to what they should be played at. So we're going to go ahead and go to open ROM, respectively, wherever you find your ROM, you save it, what directory, find that ROM, click on it, we're going to do Super Mario 64, and click open. And it should display this in 4K. It's me, Mario! So you can see we're currently now playing Hello. Nintendo 64, Mario 64. In 4K. Remember that little gray area option I was telling you? You can escape. Now that the game's loaded up, you can go back to options, into your graphics plugin, and there they are. It's available. Um, you can do automatic, which will put it in the aspect ratio of what the game natively was done. You'll have the black bars on your side if you're doing 4K. It looks beautiful. It looks amazing that way. But me personally, I like stretch. Just, I don't like the black bars. The little stretch and little fat face don't bother me. So, um, you can go ahead and mess with these two depending on your build. But I currently don't mess with it. I just think it looks great the way it is. So, hit apply. Go to OK. Go back to options. Go back to full screen. And you should be stretched across the screen. Insight on what this game is capable of doing. Dear Mario, please come to the castle. I have baked a cake for you. Yours truly, Princess Toadstool. Peach. And it brings back memories of other games. Drop them in the comments. If you have any issues with anything, drop them in the comments. The next emulation video, I'll go ahead and attack the comments on this and then show you guys some new stuff. Uh, we've got tons of emulators. Emulators from almost every system console is uh, But again, I'd like to thank you and hope you guys will be here next time.